Welcome to the second video for this week in the Focke Wolf 190 series from Edward. Yes, I try to post two videos per week, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to keep updated. Ok guys, now it's time for some chipping and working with oils over a matte surface. Before I used a silver pencil from Prisma Color for chipping, which I think is the best and easiest method, I used acrylics like this aluminum color from Ammo Mink. The difficult thing in my opinion is painting the chips in a random manner with a fine pointed brush to get them in scale. I find it difficult to keep it subtle and not overdoing it. Painting chips in the right places which look realistic takes practice and experience. It is so difficult to get it right. And there are perhaps easier and better looking techniques like hairspray chipping or sponge chipping which I'll try on future airplanes. So bear with me if you don't like the chipping, we're starting with the oils in a few seconds. Ok, weathering with the oils is easier. For the Fog Wolf I used the colors Sepia and Light Grey. I like the Windsor and Newton Sands over the thinner. In the past I had some problems with thinners leaving residue on matte surfaces. The first step is to moisten the surface with the thinner. Then apply some darker oil dots in corners, panel lines, flaps and where dirt catches. With a fine bristle brush, you blur the oil dots and spread it into the corners. With the lighter color I accentuate the panels where I think there isn't enough variation in the base coat. Working with oils is an easy step to give some more contrast to plain colored surfaces. 
One of the best modelers, Daniel Samarbide, is a pro in working with the oils and pencils. Check out his video. After the thinner evaporated and the oil colors dried a bit, I used a very soft brush and blurred the oil colors even more together. I hope you got something out of this video, even if it is only about two techniques. The next video will be about the finishing steps and putting this Fog Wolf 190 together. A big thank you to all of you out there on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. The channel has now more than 100 subscribers. That keeps me really motivated to upload my videos on YouTube. Critiques and comments are very welcome. What technique or subject would you like to see more? The next project has already started. Subscribe to keep the channel growing, leave a like and don't miss the next video. Thank you for watching.